what is up guru gang if you are new here welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on to today's video if you have been a part of the gang thank you so much for coming back let's go ahead and jump into today's video you guys y'all have been asking me for some summer layering combos for the past couple of months um and i feel like my last layering video was maybe two months ago now because the last one was a spring layering combo so y'all know i love to do my themed named layering combos and i'm super excited to let you guys know these combos i feel like i try to always give y'all like the option of adding perfumes but some of y'all still want just specific like fragrance mist only combo so that is what i opted to do here however each combo there is going to be a perfume added in at the end just so you guys know what perfume i wore mine with but all of these combos are bomb with just the fragrance mist i made sure of that so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it i did want to recreate some layering videos that i did last summer um, I did two videos. I did summer daytime layering combos and then I did summer nighttime layering combos. So I will like link those in the cards up at the top or if you want to just click on the description box, scroll to the about section and you will see all of the videos that I have linked in this video because I'm just going to link a bunch of layering videos. So anyways, I wanted to combine that video concept into one this go round and give you a few options for some daytime combos as well as a few options for some nighttime combos if you guys are going on a summer date night summer night out summer cruise ship like whatever you're doing girl vacay i got a couple combos in here for everybody so let's go ahead and get started first one is going to be called coco melon colada now i did do a similar combo to this a couple of layering videos ago but i layered it with different perfumes and one of those perfumes I actually have since decluttered which is Skylar's Lime Sands. I just could not get with it even when I tried to layer it with a bunch of different things. I just wasn't really feeling it. So I created a very similar concept, a very similar combo with some other fragrance mist that I really really love and enjoy. I really wanted to go in with watermelon, lime, and coconut vibes because I do tend to make a lot of cocktails like that at work during the summer. A lot of watermelon, a lot of lime, a lot of mojitos, a lot of anything with coconut, watermelon, and lime during the summer. Like That is probably the most popular flavor profile so that kind of inspired me to make this combo so i wanted to start off with fresh coconut and colada which you guys know this is a coconut heavy fragrance but there's also a very very syrupy sweet note in here i believe it's sugar cane no there's a uh, coconut milk vanilla rum and pink hibiscus so i really wanted to highlight that vanilla rum and this is really just a boozy sweet coconut fragrance i love this one i wore this one a lot last summer and it's just a very boozy, creamy, lactonic, sweet, syrupy coconut. So I opted to pair this with two watermelon fragrances. Um, I wanted to pick watermelon mojito because I feel like, again, this kind of adds in a little bit more of that rum factor, a little fizziness, a little bit of that fresh, watery vibe that you like to have your summer cocktails kind of smell and taste like. And this just kind of adds a little bit more of that freshness to this one went in and added pink watermelon blast to add in more of that kind of lime essence that i like my tropical summery drinks to have because if you guys did not know lime and lemon tend to make flavors smell better uh, they tend to make flavors taste better so this adds in that super sugary sweet watermelon but you definitely get that lime zest in here and I think that that just brought these two together so much better. So again, if you have the body creams or body lotions for a lot of these combos, you guys, especially the ones that I have three mists for, I would recommend using like a body cream of one of them and maybe just using two of the mists or if you have one that's stronger than the other, like just play around with it. You know, this is just the scent profile that I wanted to use. And honestly, all three of these mists smell really bomb together, but I think I use the Pink Watermelon Blast body cream and then I use these two together to kind of give me that coconut watermelon kind of like almost pina colada vibe but yeah it just smells really good it smells really refreshing like this is bomb if you're going to like a pool party or if you're just outside and you don't want anything too too like super super sweet you want something a little fizzy a little refreshing i absolutely love this combo now 
if you want to know what perfume I paired these with to further enhance the combo. I paired this combo with Skylar's Coconut Cove. This is another very sweet, but also fresh powdery coconut. I believe there is hibiscus in here. I will put the notes on the screen if you guys are interested in this fragrance, but I love to wear this by itself in the summer because it's a really easy reach. It's not like incredibly lactonic, I would say. Like I wouldn't say this is the most gourmand coconut to me, but this does give easy, breezy, crisp, sweet, powdery coconut vibes. And I think it just goes bomb with this combo. So yeah, I absolutely loved all four of these together, you guys. Again, you can absolutely just do the fragrance mist if you have those. But if you have Skylar's Coconut Cove or even Waikiki Beach Coconut kind of gives me a similar vibe to this. If you saw my Bath and Body Works, uh, if you like this body mist, you would like this perfume video. I mentioned that those two smell very similar. So I will link that video up top. And also I do have a part two coming as well because you guys really like that video. So yeah, that is Coco Melon Colada. So let's go ahead and move on to the next daytime fragrance. Next combo y'all is called Strawberry Pineapple Snow Cone. I really wanted to play off of the actual names of these scents. But honestly, y'all, when I paired them together, that's literally the vibe that it gave me. It was juicy. It was strawberry, pineapple, shaved ice. It was a little watery. Like it just, they went bomb together. So the first mist that I wanted to start with is strawberry snowflakes. I absolutely love strawberry snowflakes. I literally just recently emptied one in my last empties video. And I should have another empties coming here soon, you guys. But strawberry snowflakes, honestly... I don't know why they came out with this in the winter because it gives me a very much hot weather vibes. There's bergamot in here, there's strawberry, there's whipped cream. It's just a light, fluffy, lactonic fragrance. And to me, this has just gotten so much better the longer that I've had it. So I haven't really been shopping at Bath & Body Works lately. Like I've pretty much made a super long post about that a couple of weeks ago. And I know you guys have been asking me like to review the new stuff, but honestly, I have no desire to do that. I just don't. I don't need anything from there and I'm just enjoying what I have right now. Will I go back anytime soon? I'm not sure but for now <laughs> I am enjoying the stuff that I have and I'm focusing more on new perfumes to my collection. So yeah absolutely love Strawberry Snowflakes. I think she's bombed me around but I decided to pair her with Coconut Pineapple. Now this is one of the mists that I believe I spoke about in my top summer body mist um, from Bath & Body Works video. So if you did not see that, check that out. I will link it up at the top. But Coconut Pineapple is just very authentic to the name. It has notes of a shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, and sugar cane. And that's exactly what it smells like. It just, I literally can smell like the coconut shavings. And I just smell this like fluffy, doughy coconut shaving. This really sweet sugar cane. So y'all. These two together smell so good. It's light, it's airy, but it's also fruity and juicy and mouthwatering. And it just gives such a tropical, flirty, fluffy, juicy vibe. Like this isn't one of your, this isn't like a super in your face, but you will definitely get noticed when you wear this. It's very sweet, it's very girly, and it's just very summertime vibes. Now, if you are interested in knowing what perfumes I think would bomb with this combo, I decided to pair these two with a perfume that I have considered decluttering multiple times. Um, if you guys did not watch my video rating a bunch of viral Arabian fragrances, this one was not one of my faves, but it is one of the ones that is the most hyped up right now. Um, and that is Yara by Latafa. So I think these three go bomb together. I have I had already paired Yara with Strawberry Snowflakes before and I really enjoyed the combo, but adding in the coconut pineapple really plays up on the tropical notes that are already in Yara. Like Yara already has kind of this pineapple-y, tropical fruit accord. I definitely smell something a little creamy in there. I, people always say that they this smells like strawberries and cream to them. I don't really get strawberries and cream, but I do get just kind of this slightly powdery, like berry, fruity, tropical dust. So I just feel like it goes bomb with these two. And I actually enjoyed this perfume a lot more when I layered it with these. So I haven't decluttered Yara yet because it does still get me a lot of compliments. And I feel like I said that in that video, it got me a ton of compliments. I personally just wasn't the biggest fan of how it smelled on me, but I also really liked the scent trail. So it was weird because it was like 
directly on my skin i'm not the biggest fan of this but when i catch whiffs of it i was enjoying it a little bit more so that's the only reason why i haven't decluttered it again it's still not a love i'm not like as in love with this as a lot of other people are but i never disliked it enough to declutter it i just have to play around with it and bring out the notes in here that i really like so once i did that and i paired it with these two i definitely had a strawberries pineapple shaved ice snow cone kind of vibe it just smelled really tropical and fruity and girly that is daytime combo number two this next daytime combo i kind of struggled with if this was more daytime or nighttime but i feel like this one and the next one are kind of like borderline you could do either one and realistically y'all can wear whatever you want when you want but this one gives me very much like you can wear it during the day and take it into the night and just touch it up which with fragrance mist you're gonna have to touch up throughout the day and you're gonna have to overspray anyways so name of this combo is mango tres leches um it very much gives me a mango gourmand vibe but it's also still light and fluffy enough to not be cloying in the middle of the day so i wanted to start off with golden mango lagoon this is very much a super sweet realistic mango scent it has notes of sunny mango saltwater woods and coral blooms and when i first saw this one you guys i loved it i said it was just super sweet it just smells like a candied super ripe juicy mango and I don't really wear this one by itself because it does kind of lean a little bit more generic fruity so i do always have to layer this with something but the two fragrance mist that i layered it with y'all took this up a notch so i layered it with number one coconut cream pie y'all know coconut cream pie she is literally a staple in any gourmand lovers collection and i feel like this added this creamy coconut milky buttery vibe that i feel like tres leches cake has like literally the milk the cream the little buttery flakiness mixed with this mango this was already super bomb but i really wanted to add in another dimension another layer of cream because if you've never had tres leches it's super rich super dense there's literally all kinds of lactonic things going on so i added in none other than wrapped in vanilla which is another super sweet lactonic vanilla fragrance and these three together y'all super super bomb literally smells like a mango tres leches or if you guys have ever had um a mango trifle like where it has like the layers of just like bready uh like bready cake kind of vibes mixed with different creams and milks and ice creams y'all that's what this smells like okay so this was smelling amazing it literally smelled edible but it also had that tropical mango vibe and i just absolutely love this but if you guys are curious with what perfume i paired this with i did also pair this with pacific's vanille extreme now i have talked about i believe i've talked about this on my channel a few times before but i've talked more so about the vanille abrico which i really really like that one as well but this one to me gives more of an authentic doughy vanilla there is milk in here. There is, um, I believe there's frangipani and like heliotrope or something like that and sugar cane, I believe. So I feel like this, this paired perfectly with this entire combo because it just added another dimension of that doughy, almond, creamy, milky vibe mixed with this super, super sweet mango. So yeah, y'all, another super sweet gourmand combo. This just went so bomb with those fragrance mists, but like I said, the fragrance mists also stood alone and they smelled really good. So I will say that you guys, please make sure that you are over spraying these mists, okay? And you are touching, touching up throughout the day. Like you don't have to go in and spray the mist on the exact same locations of your body. Like you wanna spray one mist in a specific area and another mist in another area. And like I said, use the body creams, like switch it up because if you try to go in and spray everything on top of each other it does get a little bit muddled and it kind of messes up the effect so you want to just kind of alternate where you spray them so it just creates an overall like aroma together instead of creating just a jumbled up mess next combo i struggled so hard with the name because it was just like so much going on but i'm pretty sure i settled on a lemon cotton candy cream um but i basically i wanted to do like a lemony coconut cotton candy mixture i don't know why but i was just kind of craving that so i started off with pastel skies because pastel skies is just like 
one of the best cotton candy sweet uh, spun sugar berry fragrances and then it also has that coconut musk which i feel like is really a bomb in the summer in the hot weather but i also paired it with my girl ice lemon pound cake because i really wanted to add in that gourmand citrusy layer and i feel like these just pair really well together it gives a very Think of like lemon heads mixed with cotton candy and like this cake factor in the background. They just went really well together and the coconut musk really helps to kind of add a little layer of a lactonic factor. So they just blend together super, super smoothly. So absolutely love these two together. They are totally bomb in both of these. They had a nice little lingering scent trail. But if you want to know a good perfume to pair with this, y'all, I had to pair this with my girl Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. This is just one of the best scents for the summer. This was one of my most worn scents last summer, if you guys watched that video when I posted it. Um, and I'm just so glad that they finally came out with it in the full size. And I do want to thank Skylar for sending me the full size. Um, I really appreciate that because I've been raving about the scent for so long. But I feel like this is just the perfect addition to these two mists because it has the coconut in here it's got kind of this like watery essence but it's got the coconut milk it's got the fruits the juicy fruits in here and that cotton candy note so i just feel like it just goes so bomb with these two to where you can absolutely just do these if you have these but if you have Skylar's Boardwalk Delight, I definitely think that this helps to amplify and bring these two together even better because the more different dynamics you use to create a unique combo, you guys, the better it is. So while I love to do fragrance mist only combos, it's very rare that I just don't add a perfume. So, so I just wanted to share the perfumes that I added in at the end. Okay, y'all. Now let's go ahead and start getting into the summer nighttime combos, right? So these are for your summer date nights, your summer vacations, like anything like that where you're going out you're showing a little bit more skin you got your body glitter on your tan is glowing the hair is down those are the vibes okay so of course i had to start with none other than my girl sunset glow i did a few combos with her last summer and i really enjoy layering sunset glow with um, cherry fragrances because of that um that cherry seltzer note that's in here and i want to say last summer i layered this with tom ford's lost cherry or any of the dupes but I wanted to continue to play around with that fruity cherry note, but still bring in a different gourmand facet in here because still that vanilla and coconut in here. And I just wanted to play up a little bit more on both of those. So y'all paired it with none other than strawberry pound cake, y'all. Literally, this combo is so good, right? Because strawberry pound cake already has that whipped creamy strawberry vibe very similar to strawberry snowflakes but definitely a lot richer a lot more dense which is why i felt like this would be bomb for a nighttime combo but mixed with the cherry seltzer in here the coconut creaminess the vanilla that kind of caramelized vibe in here and then there's also just something a little almost kind of buttery in here that i think just goes so well with this so y'all bomb combo like definitely was one of my favorites and of course if you are interested in the perfume that i paired with this which by the way you guys i have all the perfumes that i use like linked in the description box because i normally always do that but i paired it with none other than Chirosa 62 by sol de janeiro now if you have the sol de janeiro uh Chirosa 62 body mist you can absolutely just throw that in with this as well but i just feel like overall this created a very summery tropical beachy gourmand nighttime vibe and it just was super feminine but also a little bit sexy and alluring and heavily complimented might i add so yeah absolutely love this combo did i tell you guys the name sorry i meant to tell you guys the name the name of this combo is strawberry sunset so strawberry pound cake sunset glow with a little bit of chirosa 62 if you have it but if not this combo is super bomb by itself so yeah. this next one is definitely like one of my favorites i say my i say the my two favorite ones for last right this one's called berry tiramisu i really wanted to capture 
a buttery berry caramelized vibe but i also wanted to capture a little bit of a lactonic ice cream factor as well because when i think about summer nights i'm always thinking about some sort of fruity desserts and honestly anything that's got anything that has fruit and ice cream sign me up but more so i think about like waffle cones and things like that in the summer you think about boardwalks like that's just the vibe so that is the vibe that i wanted to capture so of course i had to start it off with none other than berry waffle cone i did recently layer this with uh burberry her elixir and that is absolutely a bomb combo i think i layered it with that and um the Chirosa 72, that combo was amazing. So that combo kind of inspired this combo as well. But I paired it with, and if you don't know what berry waffle cone smells like, which I'm sure most of you guys do if you are collectors, this is just a very rich, buttery, berry waffle cone. Like that's exactly what it smells like. It's super heavily complimented. Like I get the most compliments. This is probably one of my more complimented body mists. Um, and it just smells literally edible. This is one of the most <laughs> edible body mists that I own. So I had to pair it with none other than my girl Beach Nights. This is one of my go-to faves in the summer. These two together literally created like this berry waffly dessert. But then when you add in, when you add in Beach Nights, it adds in that s'mores accord, that kind of toasted marshmallow factor that ooey gooeyness a little bit of this lactonic vibe and there's also some woodiness in here that kind of elevates this and makes it smell a little bit more sexy to where it's still a gourmand leaning fragrance but it adds that kind of alluring sexiness to it so it's not 100 literally edible but you absolutely will be smelling literally edible now the perfume that I chose to layer with this definitely further amplified the coconut, the vanilla, just the creamy, delicious lactonic vibes. Um, and I wanna say I did like a s'mores themed layering video. I, I'm probably out of cards at this point. So if you find it, girl, I have a whole layering playlist, so it's in there somewhere. But I think I did it last fall and I layered Beach Nights with this fragrance because it just gave me all of the s'mores toasted roasted vibes. But the perfume I paired with this is a Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. You guys, this is just such a delicious, sexy scent. And most people would say that this is more of a fall fragrance, but honestly, this has coconut in it. And I feel like the mixture of the coconut, the sandalwood, and the vanilla in here works so well with these two mists because it's already kind of bringing everything together right because beach nights has that woody note in there that toasted marshmallowy s'mores vanilla like it just kind of brings everything together and gives me just this super sultry seductive sexy summertime date night vibe so absolutely love these together again if you don't have this perfume which is super super inexpensive you can pick it up at ulta so of course i will have it linked um but this is definitely one of my favorites and while it does kind of give you more fall wintery vibes i absolutely can see this being worn year round because it's not super loud and beast mode and i think the longer it sits on skin it just sweetens up and gets a lot more creamy so yeah it just went bomb with these two and i absolutely love this combo together this last combo this last combo is called sunrise in paradise and I pretty much just combined two names of the two myths, but I wanted to start off with my girl Coco Paradise. I feel like I haven't done a ton of combos with this, or I haven't shown you guys a ton of combos with this, but I have been wearing her a lot. And this is just such a, like I've always said, a super sexy, just alluring bronze tropical goddess type of scent. It literally just smells like one of those you see this beautiful tan woman with her hair down and she's got on like a really sexy bikini she's got a tan on she's got one of those like arm things like you know what i'm saying like it just gives that tropical sexy goddess type of vibe um and it's got that neroli in here it's got that coconut it just kind of almost smells a little bit like a spa like spa lotion in a way it's just a really hard it's a really hard scent to explain in a way but it just perfectly embodies summer nights to me. So I really wanted to play up on the citrus in there, but also add a different dynamic of sweetness. So y'all, I don't know why this combo works so well together, but when I tell you it works bomb together, I paired it with pink pineapple sunrise, which you guys know is a super, super sweet, syrupy, 
pineapple fragrance. Like, this is one of the sweetest mists that you can get from Bath and, Bath and Body Works. And I feel like these two together, something about the sweetness and the citrus in here really does something with the Neroli and the Manoi oil in here. It just brings in a whole different sexy, fruity, tropic goddess type of scent. And I just love these two together, y'all. Now, I really feel like even though this mist combo is bomb, just like the rest of these, if you pair it with one of these two perfumes, it's gonna just bring everything together in such a sexy, alluring way. So the first option, these perfumes, both of the perfumes are by the same brand and I just feel like they both bring different factors into it. If you want to go in more of the sexy, gourmand, vanillic, like bronze goddess type of vibe and just play up on that and just be more, smelling more edible and just more of like a alluring man magnet type of fragrance, definitely pair this combo with Vanilla 28, y'all. This, it's like some sort of coconut, pineapple, brown sugar pie. Like, I don't know, girl. I don't know how these came together so well, but this just almost kind of like, think of like putting this combo in the oven or something. It just makes this become more caramelized with the brown sugar. There's a hint of this sexy jasmine in here. Like, this combo is just so sexy, y'all. Like, you need to have on something real sexy when you're wearing this. Make sure your hair is down, you got your lips glossed up, your tan, the body glitter is on. Girl, that's this vibe, okay? So, absolutely love it with Kaoli Vanilla 28. Like, Vanilla 28, you can really layer with anything, but I just think it goes so amazing with this combo. But if you don't want to be as loud and as suggestive and as sexy, but you still want to capitalize on that sweet vanillic coconut, absolutely pair it with Kaoli's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This, again, is also a very sweet fragrance, but I feel like it kind of brings in a little bit more of that floral facet, a little bit more kind of like feminine vibes without trying too hard, but it still has that sweet vanilla and coconut that really works bomb as just a tropical summer night fragrance. So you cannot go wrong with either of those perfumes, but my personal favorite with these two was Vanilla 28 for sure. Like this is very much a you're on a mission that night type of combo for the summer. So yeah, absolutely love this one together. Like this was definitely my favorite combo from this video. So if you guys try it out, let me know how you guys feel about it because I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, that is it for this layering video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more of these, let me know. But like I said, I think my next layering video, I wanna do perfumes only because I've got some really um perfume layering combos that i wanted to show you guys but a lot of you guys pretty much let me know like i know with perfume collections it's a lot more personal not everyone has the same things and it's kind of easier to do fine fragrance mist but y'all i really just need to share them with you and if you like them and you don't have the perfumes you just need to buy them sis okay <laughs> but that's it so stay tuned for the rest of my content over the next few days and i will see y'all in my next video bye